Hey, what's up everybody? Let's do problem numero three. If you take a look, we are going to write oxidation half reactions for each of the following species and then rank them from most easily oxidized to least easily oxidized. Now, keep in mind since we're doing oxidation, we're gonna be losing electrons and they'll be written on the right-hand side of our half reaction as we form the ions to these metals. So as I come to my reduction potential chart to find those metals, I've highlighted them for you here. Remember, this is the reduction potential chart, so here we see them on the right-hand side of the equation. So I'm just gonna write on the ion that they form and the number of electrons that they lose. Now, I'm just gonna take their reduction potentials from the reduction potential list, flip the signs to get their oxidation potentials and write them next to their oxidation half reactions. Tin has a reduction potential of negative 0.14, so its oxidation potential is gonna be positive 0.14. Nickel has a reduction potential of negative 0.23 volts, so its oxidation is be positive 0.23 volts. Chromium has a reduction potential of negative 0.73 volts, so an oxidation potential of 0.73 volts positive. Now, as we rank these from most easily oxidized to least easily oxidized, chromium is gonna take the number one spot, followed by nickel, followed by tin, followed by iron. Wow, awesome. And we're done with problem number three.